Welcome to my channel I aim to upload these news top 10 summaries daily. Links to all articles in the description if one grabs your attention. From Mail Online under the main headline of Skulls Savages Rangnick after Man United's Champions. League Exit. Summary of headline article. Paul Skulls has ripped into Manchester United's decision to hire Ralph Rangnick as their interim manager until the end of the season in the wake of their Champions League knockout. Insisting he doesn't know how the veteran got the job. Paul Skulls has ripped into Manchester United's decision to hire Ralph Rangnick this season. Skulls. Scathing comments came in the wake of United's exit from the Champions League speaking on BT Sport. He said, How? Ralph Rangnick was chosen to be manager of this club. I don't know. Getting a proper coach for this team is a massive thing. The very first thing this club needs to do to get anywhere near winning the league again is getting in a proper coach who works for this team. Whereas the other team, Man United, are looking at each other saying, who's going to pull a magic trick out of their hat? Quote, from Sky Sports under the main headline of Formula One, who will be a breakout star in 2022? The contenders as new opportunities arise for drivers. Summary of headline article. Best race. Second. X1. Nobody has a better chance to rise, both up the grid and in fans' estimations, than George Russell this year. Best race. First. X2. A breakout star. But Lando didn't just beat the experienced former Red Bull man. He dominated him. Best race. Second. X2. But while the pair were evenly matched. It was Verstappen who was called up to the Red Bull senior team in 2016. From Mail Online under the main headline of Martin Samuel. How dare Chelsea lecture anyone on integrity. Summary of headline article. So when even the Chelsea supporters trust distanced themselves from the club's demand to have the Middlesbrough FA Cup tie played behind closed doors. It is obvious Chelsea gravely misjudged the mood. How dare Chelsea lecture anyone on integrity? Given the root cause of their problems? How dare Chelsea lecture on integrity? Given the root cause of their problems? How dare Chelsea try to deny them that day? This FA Cup quarterfinal is a sellout and one of Borough's biggest games in recent memory. How dare Chelsea try to deny them that day one last point? From BBC under the main headline of Wednesday's Gossip Column. Summary of headline article. Fabrizio Romano. External link Reds boss Jurgen Klopp will not talk to Salah and his agent amid a standoff over a new deal for the forward. Mirror. External link Borussia Dortmund's Norway striker Erling Braut Haaland. 21. Will ask for a release clause to be written into any contract. Should he move clubs this summer? Son. External link Manchester City are prepared to make Haaland the highest paid player in England with a salary in excess of £500,000 a week. Express. External link Fulham are interested in signing Liverpool's England defender Joe Gomez. 24. And Wales right back Neko Williams. 20. Who has impressed on loan at Craven Cottage. RMC Sport. In French. External link Tottenham's England striker Harry Kane. 29. Says he is motivated to get even better under manager Antonio Conte. Amid interest from Manchester United. From Daily Star under the main headline of Marshall claims Rangnick chat led to exit after becoming lost at Man United. Summary of headline article. For the latest from the pitch sign up for our football newsletter Anthony Marshall has lifted the lid on how Ralph Rangnick's arrival at Manchester United coincided with his Old Trafford exit.
and his mind didn't change after a chat with Rangnick, despite the fact that the German told Marshall he'd play under him. I told him I wanted to leave and that's it, Marshall told the Daily Mail. And he revealed that he had to leave United after conceding that he stopped enjoy football at their club. While he hasn't managed to find the net, he is still in with a shot at lifting some silverware before he returns to Old Trafford and ponders his next move. From Metro under the main headline of Harry Maguire takes swipe at Atletico Madrid players after Man United defeat. Summary of headline article. Manchester United were dumped out of the Champions League. Picture. Bain Sports. Harry Maguire took a swipe at Atletico Madrid's players for going down too easily after they dumped Manchester United out of the Champions League. Renan Lordi's first half header was enough to separate the sides at Old Trafford and give La Liga champions Atletico a 2-1 aggregate victory over Premier League giants United. It's something we need to learn from. Atletico's professional victory means that for a fifth season in a row, Manchester United have failed to win any silverware. Ralph Rangnick still have a top four spot to fight for in the Premier League but Arsenal are their clear favourites. Manchester United interim manager Ralph Rangnick echoed Maguire's sentiment in his post-match interview, claiming there was always somebody lying on the floor, and questioning the curious refereeing. From BBC under the main headline of England Keep World Cup Hopes Alive. Summary of headline article. Last updated on. From the section Cricket Women's World Cup. England skittle India for 134 to boost World Cup Hopes Women's World Cup. Tauranga India 134 all out. 36.2 overs. Mandana 35. Dean 4 to 23. Shrub Sol 2 to 20 England 136 to 6. 31.2 overs. Knight 53. Siva 45. Meghna 3 to 22 England 1 by 4 wickets scorecard. Table rejuvenated England breathed life into their World Cup defence with a four-wicket hammering of India in Mount Maunganui. Off spinner Charlie Dean, in just her second World Cup match, claimed 4-23 while Anya Shrubsole became only the sixth England woman to reach 101 day. International wickets in her 2-20. In the face of some excellent swing bowling by Meghna and Goswami. England saw Danny Wyatt well held at slip by Rana and Tammy Beaumont trapped LBW on review. England remain in a perilous position. But head into the meeting with New Zealand still as contenders to win the World Cup. From Reuters under the main headline of Holder Baydosa Downs Fernandez. Halep through it Indian Wells. Summary of headline article. March 15, 2022. Indian Wells. CA. USA. Paula Baydosa. ESP. Celebrates after winning her third round match against Leila Fernandia. Not pictured. At the BNP Paribas Open at the Indian Wells Tennis Garden. Mandatory credit. Jane Cameron on say a USA Today Sports March 15. Reuters. Seeking to become the first woman to defend the Indian Wells title in over three decades. Paula Baydosa powered past Leila Fernandez 6-4 6-4 to reach the quarterfinals on Tuesday while Simona Halep and Iga Swiatek also advanced. After a sluggish start to the second set. She held serve in a five-deuce game to go up 5-3 to three before closing out the victory. Poland's Swiatek produced her third consecutive come-from-behind victory to battle past former. World number 1 Angelique Kerber 4, 6, 6, 2, 6, 3 and reach the last eight.
The 20-year-old will face Madison Keys on Wednesday after the big-serving American sent British. Qualifier Harriet Dart packing with a 6-1 6-4 victory. From the Telegraph under the main headline of Cheltenham Festival 2022 tips and best bets for day. Two including the Queen Mother Champion Chase. Summary of headline article. Shishkin. Top class chaser. Winner of all seven starts over fences at twice a winner at the festival. Including last year's article. Put the kettle on. Last year's champion chase winner whose record at this course reads an impressive four wins from five. Starts. Shishkin vs. Enigumene. The rematch in the Queen Mother Champion Chase is the race of the meeting. No question. Sir Anthony McCoy says that this is the best race to ride in. But there is no margin for error. Patrick Mullins told me that the Champion Chase is the holy grail for them. The Cheltenham race that has eluded them so far. From BBC under the main headline of GB's Dart beaten by Keys at Indian Wells. Summary of headline article. Last updated on. From the section tennis Harriet Dart won five matches in total at Indian Wells. Including qualifying British qualifier Harriet Dart lost in straight sets to American Madison Keys. In the fourth round at Indian Wells. Australian Open semi-finalist Keys won 6-1 6-4 against Dart who is ranked 122nd in the world. In California. Dart. 25. Is on course to break into the world's top 100 for the first time following her run to the last 16. Keys will face Iga Swiatek in the quarterfinals. After the Polish third seed came from a set down to defeat Germany's Angelique Kerber 4-6-6-2-6-3. Spain's Paula Baydosa continued her title defense with a 6-4 6-4 win over U.S. Open runner-up Layla Fernandez. Many thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to get your daily notifications. Have a great day. Thank you for your support. Goodbye.